Hello and welcome to the show today. We're going to head up to Northwest Ontario, the Sunset Country, and we're going to go up to Brown's Clearwater West Lodge on Clearwater Lake. Uh, this particular area is famous for its trout fishing, and that's what we're going to do on today's show. We're going to fish for lake trout. Uh, it's August, first part of August. The fish are pretty much suspended and on the bottom in about 80 feet of water or so, and we're vertical jigging them. Also, we took uh, part of a day, went over to the White Otter Castle, and it's a 100th anniversary. It's quite a, quite a uh, setup over there to see. It's kind of a historical site. Jimmy McQuat built it by hand over 100 years ago, and uh, it's unbelievable when you see it. Okay, good show, lots of action, having a lot of fun. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. here and you can see the big trout they're they're all over the place here there's one coming up at my bait now let's see if I can catch them let's get them well Dale we're we got our first uh, lake trout on here vertical jigging like we always like to do oh that's for sure we yep. had some nippers earlier that did quite take it but yeah, you got one on the, you, you hooked one yeah they're there I'll set it right in the spot here, uh, spot lock. Okay. Whoa, oh boy, it's so much fun, you know. What we're jigging with is, right now, is uh, a tube. This one's chartreuse, and it's just like a bass tube, but we uh, put a little scent on it with a little cut bait. And these trout are just beautiful fish up here on Clearwater West, and that's, ooh, yeah. He doesn't look quite ready yet, does he? <laughs> yeah, you know, this this is probably, you know, we've been a lot of different places, Dale, and this is probably the finest drive to trout lake I've ever fished. And every year they get them, you know, 30, 40 pounds out of here. But the average size, oh, wow. I thought it wasn't, you know, when I first hit the hook, I didn't think it was that big. You were moving from uh, one spot to the other and you hit it on the way, huh? Yeah, I just, okay. I like to move around a little bit, uh, you know, we, even if you go 20, 30 feet, you know, if, pick up another school of lake trout. Oh, come on, I got a lot of power on this guy. You fished this particular hump for quite a few years, haven't you? Yeah, it's a good area. There's a lot of ciscos here, bait fish, and it's, Wow. Well, yeah. you know, he's down 63 feet there. You can see that. So, yeah, you know, it's going to take a little bit. They are strong, boy. Well, like you always say, only a half hour show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. They fight too hard. <laughs> well, I don't know about yeah. that, but. Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah, they're like a, you know, they're orange meat like a salmon. I call them salmon trout. Really, they're not a salmon, they're a lake trout, but mm -hmm. I like to call them salmon trout because of their color of the meat. Well, let's get them up here and see if we can uh, see them anyway. Check them out. Don't want to lose them without looking at them. He's probably he, uh, too big for supper. We're hoping to get one for supper, but. Yeah, he's, he's probably a releaser. Okay. We don't want these big spawners, you know, the big. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh yeah, blowing bubbles. Uh -huh. What a fish to start out with. Yeah, beautiful, nice, kind of a golden silver, huh? Yes, right. Wow. Nice red fin. Holy smoly. 
Yeah, there she is, a native lake trout out of Clearwater West. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Well, I'm finally having my chance at it, Borch. All right, buddy. You just landed that first one there, and by golly, I got one fighting here too. It doesn't seem, uh, it's not little. You got, uh, what'd you get that one on, to, uh, white? I, I switched to white. I know you got the yeah. chartreuse. Yeah, and, white, uh, you know, for people watching, white and chartreuse are probably your two best they colors. They probably are. You know. Sure. But she's a little chilly this morning. Oh boy. You know? Yeah, here it's August 2nd and uh, it's it's probably only 50 above. Is that what you were saying this morning? Yeah. yeah. It, it's, it's, but it's comfortable fishing. Just put the sweatshirt on, it's fine. Yeah. You bet. We're so, used to it. We're from Minnesota. Oh, we sure are. Well, this is kind of getting close to duck hunting weather, feels like. Yeah. Oh, there he is, Butch. Okay. Oh, man. There he mm. is. Blowing bubbles. Yeah. Kind of got a tight drag on oh, him. Oh, yeah. It's look at there. Ooh, look at that. That's a nice huh? one. Yeah. I know you talked about it already, but like you said, the average size is amazing in White Oh, Hawk. just beautiful. Oh, look at that. Huh? Yeah, I know My it. My goodness. One of my yeah. favorite things to do is jig for trout. Right. You know, nothing against trolling, but... Uh, you might be able to reach down and get them even. Sure, I'll do that. Beautiful fish. That's got to go eight pounds anyway. Oh, I bet you. Look yeah. how thick he is. He is a thick fish. That's oh, yeah. for sure. Oh, nice. That's for sure. What a fish. Yeah, what a nice one. Boy, he's really full. Oh, boy. Full of Cisco's? Yeah. That's probably. There's yeah, tons boy. of them down there. Oh, there he goes. Whoa! Down he goes. He sure went in a hurry. All right. Oh, now they're turning on the, we're starting to get a nice high pressure here now and starting to clear up a little. Got the blue sky. Beautiful day, Butch. Oh. You know, a little cool this morning, but boy, the fish are hammering now. Oh. I got this new Kramer custom rod and I love it. It's so sensitive. You can feel, well, that's the thing. We're jigging down in 80 feet, 90 feet of water and uh, with that, uh, braided line, you can feel everything. There's very little stretch, and then put a fluorocarbon leader on, and uh, it's a great combination because you can feel them trout. If you use just mono, straight mono, it's it, it's so uh, soft and rubbery that it's hard to set the hook and even feel them sometimes. But with this, uh, like the uh, 832 Rapala suffix. That's really good stuff. Spider wire, Power Pro is another good one. All those are good lines to, ooh, there he is. Ooh. What a specimen. Yeah. Oh, man. He's got it right in his mouth. Yeah. Notice that one's a darker color, huh? Whoa. We'll get him, we'll get him. Don't want to hurt him. I thought you had him there, but they just, oh, there he goes. That's okay. I had it close to the bottom and I could feel him just nipping on it. And I picked it up a foot, dropped it, bang, hit it. Really fun. This isn't one of those, oh, it's still nice, you know, it's a. Well, that's an eater. Supper yeah. time, maybe. Supper you think? fish. Yeah, supper fish. There you go. Yeah, boy, Barry's got quite a setup on clear water, doesn't he? Yeah, he's, oh. he does. Well, you know, he's one of the few resorts up in the North Country that's open in the winter, too. They have a tremendous uh, uh, winter fishing up here. They sure do. And we come up with the snow machines, but, you know, uh -huh. both summer and winter. Love that winter fishing, oh, too, yeah. jigging for trout. 
All right. Good job. We'll have that one for supper. Sounds great. Ooh, fresh trout. White tube. Yep. You know, that's kind of a all-around bait for these trout, you know? Summer, winter, whenever. Okay, Dale, here we are at the White Otter Portage. Uh, actually, we're on Clearwater on this side. This is their truck portage at Brown's Clearwater West Lodge. Looking forward to it, Butch. Hi, boys. No fish on the bottom. <laughs> well, here we are on the other side of the portage. This is White Otter. Beautiful lake. White Otter is... Uh, it's got uh, actually three parts to it. It's, it's a beautiful trout lake and walleye lake. We're in here in White Otter, Dale, and okay. I fish walleyes on this spot, and I got a little tap right now. Okay. Let's see what you get. Oh, nice. All right. Well, we got another beautiful day to fish, Butch. I know it. I, we? I haven't been in White Otter for about eight years now, and I love this lake. It's We'll go up to the castle, up at uh, White Otter Castle. It's been a hundred year anniversary. Ooh, look at, oh, it's a nice smallmouth. Beautiful smallmouth. Give you a good fight. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, I guess so. We'll get a look at it. Not a walleye, but it's a good, uh, good fighter. Oh yeah, nice fish. Pretty, pretty. All right, good start. <laughs> Combination lake, huh? Yeah. That's kind of, kind of neat, that truck portage coming across, oh, you know? Right. You, here I got a, my 19 and a half foot boat, you know, and 200 horse motor and taking the portage across <laughs> yeah. to a fly-in lake, really. Well, here's the White Otter Castle right here. It's unbelievable. This was built over 100 years ago and Jimmy McQuatt, a Scottish boy, came over and he built this by hand. There was no roads, no nothing. And it's hard to believe that you could build something like this. So not only is White Otter a great fishing lake, but if you come over here, here to White Otter, you got to stop and take a look at this castle. It's kind of a uh, place for a lot of people to come and look at. And I've been here several times over the past 20, 25 years, but it's uh, the hundredth anniversary since he passed away. Dale will go over and try another good spot. Boy, you landed a nice white fish there a little bit ago, Butch. They yeah, we, we got some, uh, well, they're fun. They fight crazy too, and they're good eating. They sure but do. The, you know, their bellies are great for cut bait. Mm -hmm. Do they hang right with the trout then? Oh yeah, they're right. A lot of times at the same depth even. Mm -hmm. You know, and they spawn in the fall, oh, just like the lake trout. Sure, okay. They kind of hang together, it seems like. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to get him up here as fast as I can, but it's not really yeah, cooperating. <laughs> oh, really? man. Well, I don't want to rush it either. I, I really it. enjoy this jigging. Oh, there he is. I enjoy this jigging about as much as anything. Oh, he's a dandy. Yeah, he's a dandy. I wish he'd come unhooked by himself. I already had the fight, but yeah, look at that, huh, Butch? Oh, oh boy. Well, maybe you can reach in with the players. Okay, I'll give that yeah, a try. Get... Oh boy, that's something. Yeah, it's just a beauty. I never get enough of this. Yeah. I got to take the time to thank you for taking me up here again, Butch. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, this is kind of like my second home up here, Clearwater West. It's wonderful time been coming up for 40 years you catch a fish like this oh. wow thanks a lot barry for yeah. inviting us up oh yeah it's a good one too <laughs> you know most of the time these trout are so tough 
they're negative, but boy, when they turn on, it, it's it's awesome. I mean, we're having fun now, I'll tell you. And they're turned on, let me tell ya. Ooh, nice. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely a, a fun way to fish. Oh, but feel that strike, you can't, you, you know, know you, trolling is good. Nothing like it. You know, downriggers and stuff, but it, it, this, you're, this way you're feeling every hit you get, you know, and, sure. but, and you're vertical jigging. Boy, that rod's got a good backbone on it. it sure does. There he is. Oh, yeah. There he is. Another dandy. Another dandy. Wow. They are powerful fish. Aren't they, though? Uh, I always say that. They fight from the top to the bottom. Yep. You know, and we love to fish them in the winter time too. We'll go take our slow machines up here and uh, ice fish for them. They're great fish summer and winter. Oh man. What do you think that fish weighs, Butch? Yeah, it's probably, oh man, I'd, I'd say, uh, yeah, look at that. Just gorgeous. Jeez, just gorgeous. Oh, oh, wow, did this one slam it. What do you got on now, Butch? I put a, a white beetle. It's called a beetle. It, they use them on Lake Superior, and it's very effective. It's uh, more of a finesse bait. You put uh, cut bait on it, and uh -huh. uh, I've had a lot of hits on it, and I've only had it on for a half hour. That's, oh, that's I got, one of them lures they used for bobbin way back when, didn't they? Yeah, back in the old days, they used uh, down in Chiquamigan Bay in Wisconsin. That's where it came from, the beetle. I'll have to show uh, a few of the lures later. But anyhow, mm -hmm. it's another, there oh, there is. he is. Yeah. Oh, yes. Ooh. Another dandy. They show up in that clear water. Oh, isn't that, no wonder they call this lake Clearwater West. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, is he pretty? It looks like a brook trout. Holy That's schmoly. Pretty. Oh, wow. Don't want to hurt this guy. Okay, buddy. I'll let you go here in a second. Come on. There we go. Yeah. Oh, is he thick, huh? Really thick. Beautiful though. All Another right. Nice one. Very good. But he, he's a beauty. Yeah, he's a beauty. Oh, yeah. There he goes. All right. This is on zoom here. And there's a one, two, there's, these are all trout here. And then up here is a full screen. You've got some trout up real high too. What a facility. Yeah, he's that got, Barry's got, doesn't he? Yeah, he's got a lot I mean, of nice cabins. Ooh, there it is too. Yeah. Oh, geez. Up there. Nice. Yeah, he's got a nice setup here. You know, he's got a he RV camp and mm -hmm. he's got outpost camps too. And he's got uh, places where, oh, nice. Yeah, you had him hooked in the upper jaw there. White tube, boy. Yeah. That right. works well today. Another beauty. Really nice. Good job. Really nice. Good Do job. That. Let's get it back in the water. Whoa! <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show. We sure had fun catching them beautiful lake trout. I call them salmon trout. Their meat is bright orange 
and they're a great fish. They fight so hard. Also, I'd like to thank uh, Barry Brown from Brown's Clearwater West Lodge. This uh, area is just beautiful up there. It's got sand beaches, big uh, rock cliffs, and fishing's phenomenal. We'll give you his phone number and his website, and you can go up there and enjoy this country also. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you again next week. For a great vacation for the serious fishermen or the family, go to Brown's Clearwater West Lodge. Call 1-800-900-4240 or go online brownsclearwaterlodge.com. Can't get enough of the Sportsman's Journal? Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and our YouTube page. Also, check our website out, sportsmansjournaltv.com. Look at this. <laughs> it's a beautiful smallmouth. Look at that. Look at that, bro. Oh, oh man. <laughs>